Hey friends, so in this lesson, we'll integrate biometric authentication into our existing application. Biometric authentication, such as fingerprint or face recognition, offers a convenient and secure way to implement two-factor authentication. So let's proceed. So let's proceed to design a button that will initiate biometric authentication. So it will be an elevated button and that will hold a child of text widget that will say use biometric let's style it and we're doing all this in the boarding class let's give it a background and a shadow foreground okay yeah Let's set the height using the size box and the width. And align it at the center. Let's give it a, top, a padding at the top. Great. let's create another class that's a stateless class it's a let's design a small widget for ourselves to divide our different authentications the different authentications that we have in our screen so we're going to use a uh, create a row and this row will have three children the first uh, child will be a divider then we'll have um, with a thickness of one give it a width the next child will be a text widget with the word or so we're just telling the user you can sign in with this or this or this so we just want to narrate that and the third will be the repeated divider. So let's pick it and paste it in our onboarding class. We'll import it. Great. Let's add a padding at the top. Great. So we'll also divide it after the password authentication Great. So that's how we want it to look like. And let's proceed to install the local auth package. That's the one that's going to help us uh, perform biometric authentication or access biometric data and authenticate the user. So in our mixing class, let's create a new function. So function will call it sign in with biometrics. And inside it, we're going to do a few checks. So we need to confirm whether this device can check biometrics. It's very important. So we'll call local authentication that can check biometrics. So if it can check, Let's check if, if it can check, we'll be, we, let's get the available biometrics that are there by calling local authentication dot get available biometrics. And then we'll do another if statement. So if available biometrics contains one of, if it contains the biometric type of fingerprint or contains the biometric, biometric type of face, and let's proceed to our main uh, function, part of the function. So we'll do a try and catch. So we'll call local authentication dot authenticate and tell the user 
authenticate to access this app and if it turns if it returns as true that means we have been able to authenticate with the right fingerprint or face else it should return false so unfortunately this is more efficient to test with a real device rather than a simulator but this is the only code that you need to actually do that uh, by calling authentic local authentication dot authenticate so it will check the biometric data that you already have in your device and whatever you're passing by putting your fingerprint and check if it's valid so let's call our function in the elevated button and pick the result in data type bool. So all we're doing is if it's successful, that is local authentication, we'll be able to check whatever is in the device and whatever is passed by putting your finger is correct. It will navigate the user to the welcome screen. So in this case, we'll just set the display name empty or the specific credentials empty that will be passed in the welcome class. But in this phase, once it's successful, you can actually pass or call your specific API to get the, now the information about this user. That's why biometric is considered as a two-factor because now you, you're able to confirm first and then now you can go and get the information or even ask the user to not enter the password. So you're just using the biometric as a two-factor. So with that, that's the only code that you need. It's not able to work in the simulator, but with a real device, it, it will be able to uh, authenticate. We have reached the end of this part of the tutorial. Please don't forget to read through the resources that will be available in the description box below. And also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.